Narad ji is explaining the external nature of bhakti first. So what is the external form of bhakti? Extreme love for God. Once he was in Vrindavan and there he found a gopi sitting in meditation. So Narad thought, what does the gopi meditate upon? I have heard of Niranjan Gyan, I have also heard of Surandran Dhyan. But what is the Dhyan of the gopi? So Narad sat down besides, after an hour, when the gopi opened her eyes, Narad said, Deviji, can you please satisfy my curiosity, what were you meditating upon? The gopi said, Narad ji, forget it. No, please, please, no, forget it. Narad said, you know, like, now nah, I'm so curious. You're not telling me my curiosity has increased further, you have to tell me. The gopi said, I was trying to take my mind away from Sri Krishna. She's sitting and trying to yank her mind away from God. Narad said, what? Everybody tries to draw the mind away from the world and on to God. You're doing the reverse. The gopi said, what to do? His form is so embedded in my mind. Whatever I do, he lands up there. If I am churning the butter, it seems that he is coming and dropping the pots. If I am cleaning the floor, it seems he is running on it. If I am putting the children to sleep, it seems like he is waking them up. Now I understand that it is not him, it's my mind playing tricks. The mind has got so unified with him that his form comes everywhere. That is why I was striving so hard to take my mind away from him, but I was not succeeding. The Narad was extremely impressed. He said, Pratyarhitya munikshanam vishayato yasmin manodhitsati bala sau vishayeshu sajjati mana pratyaharanti tata. Big, big yogis in their meditation strive that somehow or the other, they should withdraw the mind from the world and attach it at the feet of God and they don't succeed. And look at this gopi, she is trying the reverse sadhana and not succeeding. Narad ji is saying such immense love is bhakti. Other saints were asked, what is the nature of bhakti? Tulsi Das was asked. So he said, Kamihi Nari Piyari Jimi Lobi Priya Jimi Dham Timi Raghunath Nirantara Priya Lagahumohi Ram He says, like a greedy man loves wealth is always hankering for it. There is the story of one Seth Ji. You know, he had his shop and the most blissful part of the day would be in the evening when he would count his notes. So after he would close the shop, he would sit and count. One day he was going on and counting. One was over second, third time. His wife said, that, come on, it's time for dinner. She invited him three, four times. He did not come. So finally, she got so frustrated. She took the sweet dish, the kheer, one spoon and put it in his mouth. That this will wake him up. But his mind was elsewhere. And he thought that, oh, I have eaten the sweet. That means the meal is over. So he said, all right, now I need to wash my hands. My meal is over. The Tulsi Dasti says, just like a greedy man yearns for wealth and a young boy yearns for a young girl, there is the story that one woman, her beloved was coming from out of station. 
So this girl was going running to meet her beloved. At the same time, Akbar was touring his kingdom for an inspection. So being a Mohammedan, he used to say the namaz five times. And in the namaz, they spread the sheet and then they sit on it and say the namaz. So Akbar had spread his sheet. They consider it sacred. They consider it a representation of Allah. And he was saying the namaz when this woman was running to meet her beloved. She did not realize she placed her feet on the sheet. But Akbar saw it. So Akbar said to Birbal, this woman should be brought to my court. Now the next day, the woman was brought to court. Akbar said, you ran on my namaz sheet? The woman said, absolutely not. Badshah Salamat. I am telling you, you ran. No, I did not. Akbar said, then am I mistaken? I very clearly saw you ran. The woman said, I have no recollection of it. So the woman said that, oh great king, you were worshipping the Supreme Lord. And yet you had recollection on who is stepping on my sheet. I was running after a worldly beloved and I was totally oblivious of what had happened. Don't you even have that much of absorption in your divine beloved as I have got in my material beloved. So Tulsi Das says that kind of complete absorption that is bhakti.